The tightening of U.S. immigration laws has favored the practice of imprisoning foreign citizens for the simple fact of entering U.S. territory, the prison system has developed so much that today we can find new prisons along the entire borderline in Texas, Florida, Mississippi, Louisiana and Arizona among others, reaching an incredible number of 22 prisons exclusively for immigrants for each border state, with a capacity to house between 1,200 and 7,000 immigrants for each one, immigrants whom they classify as low-risk people, however, what is perhaps most striking are the costs of these operations, it is estimated that one day of detention of an immigrant costs $200, for an annual total of almost $2 billion. These are purely indicative figures based on to the affirmations of the same officials in charge of the care of the detainees in these correctional facilities, since none of these governors will ever admit the numbers. The truth is that this money leaves the public coffers and ends up in the private pockets of the owners of these correctional facilities, in agreement with the rulers of the southern border states of the U.S. If we do simple calculations, we can determine that it is extremely cheaper to immediately expel or deport these immigrants than to have them detained in these correctional facilities for so long without justification, unfortunately. Taxpayers pay for these private correctional facilities to keep immigrants locked up. When an immigrant falls into the networks of the Border Patrol, who have an agreement with these private prisons, he falls into the repressive incarceration network and thus they begin to collect bills for this poor immigrant. There is a whole network of private businesses that are profiting from the immigration crisis, in the transportation sector, for example, there are the companies that transport immigrants from the border to the detention centers. In some cases, the transport companies are owned by the same companies that own the detention centers, there are also important airlines that rent their planes for the transfer of immigrants. In addition, there are other associated businesses, such as providers of food or telephone services for detainees, private escort for the transfer of detainees, financial loans with high interest rates for those who can get out on bail, health services and transfers of funds from abroad among many other businesses. Currently the largest group of inmates within the federal prison system are immigrants, mainly Latinos from Nicaragua and Colombia and to a lesser extent from other Latino countries who together make up an incredible 80% of all the people behind bars in the U.S. This high number of people behind bars is thanks to the criminalization of migration, which means that many migrants are detained in detention centers operated by private companies, where their human rights are violated or limited. The biggest business that the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Service known as ICE, and the owners of these correctional facilities, have is in the asylum applications of immigrants, because as soon as you cross the border,